All right, so so far we've done the airline tubing and the um, canister. Let's go ahead and grab the ingredients that we're going to need. Set this aside. All right, so you're going to want to take a little over a third of sugar. I don't know if you can see it. That's how much sugar you need. If you don't want to measure it like this, a little over a third, it's not really an exact measurement, but um, I'll show you where you need to pour. There are these little um, arrows down there, kind of hard to see, there's four, and they only reach a certain height, so you're going to want to pour this until you can't see them anymore. You see how you just see the very top of them? You don't really, like the bottom one, you can't really see it. But you can see the top one. You don't want to pour it to the very top of that. And then fill the, fill this canister with water up to this marker right here. Before we put the water, you have your sugar. And you want to take this box and you want to take the activator and stabilizer out of this. You got three activators and three stabilizers. So take one activator, take one stabilizer. You're going to want to cut them open and pour them in there with the sugar. So it's sugar, stabilizer, activator. And once you have this in there, you can mix it up if you want prior to the water. But you're going to want to put this, um, you can literally just use running water. You really don't need to use warm water because you're risking killing the uh, beneficial bacteria. So just go ahead and pour it under the faucet and pour it to this line right here. Then you're going to want to cover it. Oh, you want to stir it. Once you have that water in there, just go ahead and give it a few stirs. I couldn't find anything but a ruler to stir it. To stir it. So you might want to uh, find something pretty long. The coffee stick didn't work. Alright, so now that you have it... Um, Covered. You want to do it as tight as you can with two fingers and then grab it and hit it one more time, one fourth of a turn. That makes sense. So it should be, what, you, what we're trying to get is to just say have it really securely locked in place as tight as you can. You're going to want to connect this tubing rather quickly so you don't waste any CO2. down and there we go um, it is pretty well it's not completely expensive but it does cost about $25 for this um, and then if you want to purchase additional stabilizer and activator um, packets it does cost I think it's like $10 more um, so it does cost you a little money but I mean, I th I would prefer having this, like this ha this this hangs behind my tank, and then this just goes into my um the wall. I would prefer having this and not having to measure my own um, formulas because I just won't have to deal with inconsistency. And this is it's just pretty simple. For, it's just I mean, really, all you have to do is just pour, mix, and put and put it there. You don't have any Gatorade bottles. You don't have a Coca-Cola bottles. Not not that there's anything necessarily wrong with that. Those actually tend to be more effective, but I'm going for a, a little bit of a neater look, and I can't afford to spend the extra 25, so I would um, prefer this. If you absolutely don't have any money to spare, to spare, I can see why the CO2 system, that would be a DIY system, would make sense. But if you can spend 25, just do it. I mean, it's you saw how simple that was. And I'm ready to go. I'm going to put this in my fish tank. And I'll have CO2 for up to 28 days. Not 28 days. A lot of people expect it to last 28 days. It doesn't last 28 days. So now let's go ahead and install it into the fish tank. 